Today, we are going to be touring Luminary at Outlook by TriPoint Homes, which is my new favorite new construction home community in North Winchester. This community really pleasantly surprised me for many reasons, and I'll tell you why in this video, and then we'll tour some models. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with the Janung team and Real Broker here with another model tour. Thanks as always for supporting our YouTube channel. The first thing that struck me about this community is that it's a really good value. We help a lot of clients with new construction home purchases, and I had certain expectations before visiting this community that Luminary would be similar to a lot of the other new construction home communities in North Winchester. But Luminary really surprised me, and I feel like it really stands out amongst the other new build communities in the area. There has been a ton of new construction happening in North Winchester over the past several years. There is still quite a bit of land available to build, and it's one of the more affordable options compared to other new construction in other cities like like Temecula and Murrieta. It's also more affordable than the other end of Winchester, South Winchester, which is often referred to as French Valley. A lot of the other builders in this area are what I categorize as value builders, such as Lennar, DR Horton, and KB Homes as an example. The value builders often have limited selections on upgrades and design center choices to help keep the costs lower. They serve their purpose and are great for entry-level buyers or those just looking to downsize their payment potential. And these value builders always have nice models, but the design, it's not unique in my opinion, and it caters to the mass market, which you would expect. So I was surprised when entering the luminary models to see really beautiful and elevated design touches. I was also surprised to see the price tag, which was less than I was expecting considering how nice they were. There are other communities down the road that are currently selling that are similarly priced with much smaller lots around three to 4,000 square feet. They're basically like detached condos. I'm told the average lot size is around 7,500 at luminary, which is excellent for the price. The reason for the elevated design of these homes is that TriPoint has collaborated with interior designer and TV personality Bobby Burke. When I first heard this, I thought, oh, this is just going to be kind of a cheesy marketing thing. Uh, but after touring the models, it changed my mind and I loved a lot of what I saw and I just appreciated that they added some character and fun aspects to the model home tours. We'll tour the models in just a minute, but some design standouts that I loved was fun wallpaper, such as this butterfly wallpaper and a laundry room, fun light fixtures, deep jewel colors throughout, cute picture frame wall paneling, great picture wall galleries, and a modern take on farmhouse design. On the website, there is the style quiz finder that I thought was interesting if you wanna take that to find out what your design style is. Now, of course, when you buy a new construction home, you are not buying the decor, although I did hear that some of the decor options might be available for purchase at some point. I thought the floor plans were all very nice. All of them have an open kitchen and living area, which is a must for home shoppers these days. The other thing that surprised me was the included features. The standard cabinet choice was nice, a nice medium wood shaker style cabinet that I could work with. And the standard countertop choice in the kitchen had a few different color selections of quartz and white quartz is the standard in the bathrooms. When I say standard, that means that it's included as an option at no additional charge. Normally, quartz countertops are an upgrade option in the kitchen. I like the location and elevation of this community as well. It's located right off Dominigoni Road, right around the bend from Menifee, where it turns into Newport Road, where you will find the freeway on-ramp and lots of shopping, restaurants, and grocery stores. The elevation of Luminary has rolling hills, which are green currently because we've had a lot of rain. There are valley and mountain views as well, some beautiful snow-capped mountains in the distance currently because it's winter here, and there are some nice walking trails in the community as well. If you are wanting to get on the waitlist for this community, I would recommend that you do so ASAP because they formed a waitlist quickly and they are releasing homes on a first-come, first-served basis. The builders often raise prices over time if the market will bear. In order to get on the list, you have to complete the loan pre-approval. Once the pre-approval is 100% complete, they will timestamp you and add you to the wait list. I need to give you a word of caution briefly. If you plan on having an independent realtor help you through the process, I recommend reaching out to your realtor first before contacting new construction communities. TriPoint will not compensate your agent if your agent isn't registered as the procuring cause of your finding this community. I just had this happen with another TriPoint community. 
You always have to have your agent with you the very first time you visit a new construction community. And in the case of TriPoint, have your agent register you with the builder before making any phone call inquiries as well. If you don't already have an agent, myself or an agent on my team would of course love to help you. Another major bonus about this community, in my opinion, is that one of my favorite sales reps in our area is currently working there. And I have worked with her for several years now across several different communities, starting back to when she worked for party homes before it was bought by TriPoint. Um, she is super awesome with my clients because she really slows the process down and just, she's just a nice, helpful person. Some of the salespeople we come across can be too salesy for my liking or even a little bit pushy, which I can't handle. Buying a home is a huge purchase and you shouldn't feel rushed. The buying experience is a very important part of the home building process. And I do my best to register my clients with the builder reps that I have a good experience of working with. There is an HOA at Luminary, but no pool or community clubhouse, but there are some walking trails in the community, as I mentioned. The monthly HOA fee will be $40 at build out, which is quite affordable. The total tax rate is approximately 1.9 to 2.1%, including the special assessments and Melarus. I'll add a little disclaimer here that incentives are always subject to change, but TriPoint was most recently offering $20,000 towards closing cost credits. This is on the high side of what I'm currently seeing offered for new construction and should be more than enough to cover the closing costs and you should have some extra funds left over to potentially use towards a rate buy down. They are also offering an additional hometown hero credit of $2,500 if your occupation qualifies. A client of mine just purchased the plan one called the Alder and they were able to to receive the hero credit because he's in the military. This credit gets applied to design center selections. They secured an awesome corner lot with no rear neighbor and I'm super excited for them. Let's talk about pricing briefly and then we'll tour the models. I'll put the base prices up on the screen. You can see that they are starting at 495,000 for the plan one and go up to 595,000 for the plan five. Keep in mind, these are base prices and do not include like lot premiums, structural options or design center selections. The lot premiums I've seen, by the way, have been very reasonable. Keep in mind, this is the base pricing for the, for the first few phases. And as I mentioned, I do expect they're going to trickle up because I feel like the pricing is really good right now. Let's tour the homes. We are going to start from the largest to the smallest. And the largest plan is the plan five, which is called the Willow is the only one that's not modeled. I've had a client buy this floor plan in another community in Outlook. So I've seen this plan and it's a good one. The largest plan is often the most popular. The Willow, it ranges in size from about 2,500 square feet to a little bit over 2,700 square feet, five to six bedrooms, three to four bathrooms, and a three car tandem garage. Garage. The way it gets up to the 2,700 square foot range is if you convert the three car tandem part of the garage to bedroom number six, just so you know. A lot of great options on this plan too. You can do, instead of the bedroom in that tandem area, you could do a flex area. There's also a couple covered patio options as well. Here we are at the plan four. This is the Tory floor plan, and this is one of two story plans. This is the only two story that's modeled. It's a little over 2,200 square feet. It's a four to five bedroom plus a loft and three bathrooms and a two car garage. This one's actually modeled as a five bedroom, so it's not modeled with the loft, and the loft is standard, standard four bedroom plus loft really nice open floor plan um, those cabinets i want to point out immediately on the right with the glass uppers those are optional cabinets so you can extend your kitchen cabinets all the way along that wall i think that looks really beautiful you have the sink and the island opens to the great room very spacious we have a downstairs bedroom and full bathroom comes standard. This walk-in shower is actually an additional option. It's an upgrade. Standard is the tub shower combo. All right, we're gonna head upstairs. So as again, as I mentioned, you would normally be coming up to a loft. I believe the loft would be right here where this room is, but they have, they are modeling the five bedroom conversion. It had a walk-in closet. You saw that, oh, there we go. 
We're just gonna go in and out real quick of these rooms. I love this little heart room for my daughter. It'd be so cute. All right, this is bedroom number three upstairs. Laundry room, the sink, and all the cabinets are optional. Nice convenient linen closet here. Primary bedroom, really spacious. Here's that picture frame molding that I love. Does not come with the house. It's just an idea of something that you could do after you move in. Ensuite bathroom, uh, the tub is an option as well. Standard, it comes with a walk-in shower. Nice spacious walk-in closet. I do think the tub is a worthwhile option if you ask me. For resale, it's important to a lot of my clients. Deal breaker to some. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back downstairs because we have one more shot. I wanna show you the outside covered patio. Here we again. Really pretty kitchen. Okay, here is the outside covered patio. It's optional, a little wood you could add to. This one is the structural, really nice patio cover. The center open slider is optional as well, but that's a nice one. Moving on to the hallway, this is the plan three and it's the largest single story in the community. It's a little over 1900 square feet. There's three to four bedrooms, plus a den, two to three bathrooms, a two car garage. And we're gonna head inside. Nice spacious entryway. We're going straight to the living area and we'll come back and look at some bedrooms. Nice open kitchen, large island, undermount sink there. This is the den, the included den. You could also have the option to make that the fourth bedroom. This is a bedroom here, standard bedroom in the front of the house. And you've got a full bathroom right across the way here. Tub shower combo is what's standard. There's your garage entrance on the left there. Nice open dining area flows to the living room. In the front of the house, overlooking the backyard, you have the primary bedroom. Ensuite bathroom, walk-in shower. Uh, you do have the option to add a tub here if you would like. Walk-in closet right here. You have the water closet. Uh, there was a linen closet across the way as well. Dual undermount sinks. Take a peek at that patio cover real quick. That's the aluminum patio cover option. You could also do the structural stuccoed patio cover. So you have a couple different patio cover options here. Actually, it's really rare for builders to offer the aluminum patio cover, but that's a nice, a little bit more affordable than the structural one. Storage closet, that's included. You could do some different things with that storage closet. There's a few other structural options you could do there. Bedroom. Laundry room, linen closet. We're gonna take a peek at that real quick. Next to the linen closet, you could also, there's a structural option for a powder room from what I can tell from the plans that they're not showing, but you do have that option. So a lot of cool things you can do with this plan. Next, we're gonna look at the plan two, which is called Mariposa. And it is approximately 1758 square feet. It's a three bedroom plus a den, two to three bathroom, two car garage. And the front door for this one, it enters on the side of the home, which is a little bit different than what we've been seeing. Okay, we're right inside really nice open floor plan light and bright kitchen i think those cabinets on the right are optional as well 
the extended cabinet option. Really nice walk-in pantry. Huge island, and since you don't have the sink on the island, you have a lot of prep space. Okay, included den. These are, this is like the nice jewel color I was talking about. That's like a wine color paint. I love what they decided there design-wise. And I love this butterfly wallpaper that we looked at before and the flooring and the laundry room. So cute what they decided to do there, I feel like. Bedroom number one in the front of the home. Garage entrance right there, bedroom number two. This one's kind of tucked in a little bit more. This is an optional ensuite bathroom. It comes standard as the storage closet, kind of like we saw in the last model in the Holly, but they have upgraded. Or it could also be a powder room that comes from the hallway entrance. So a couple different things you could do here. This is the standard second bathroom here. I believe it comes standard with the tub shower combo. So you would upgrade to this walk-in shower if you so choose. Super cute. I love that, the, the wall gallery on the right there. They're also showing the aluminum patio cover we just passed. So we're overlooking the backyard here, which is where we always find the primary bedroom is normally overlooking the backyard. Nice ensuite bathroom, walk-in shower. I did not see an option to have a tub in this plan. I could be wrong about that, but I did not see that option on the brochure on the floor plans. Walk-in closet, nice little linen closet. It can never have too much storage. There's that patio cover I was telling you about. Really open plan. Lastly, we are going to tour the plan one, which is the Alder. This is the one that a client of mine recently secured, excited for them. And this model here, it is also the sales center is in the garage. So once the community is sold out and they go to sell the models, they're gonna convert the sales center back into a garage and there will be a homeowner living there. It is also single story, 1569 approximately on the square footage, and it's two to three bedrooms, uh, plus a den and two bathrooms. So we're gonna bypass the bedrooms, go straight to the kitchen and the living room. Beautiful kitchen, open floor plan, of course. This model, it's kind of a hazy, cloudy day in that day, but had really beautiful mountain views there as well. In the corner tucked in there, you can see that there's the laundry room. We're gonna take a look at that real quick. Nice window in there. Get some natural light. Pantry, coat closet. That's your garage entrance. Back to the front of the house, that's the front door. This is a den, so they have it modeled as the two bedroom plus den, but this is a three bedroom option. So that den can be converted to your third bedroom. And my clients um, did purchase it with the three bedroom option, which I think is wise. I'm glad actually the builder made that decision because the structural cutoff had already been made, but for resale, the third bedroom is definitely the way to go in my opinion. This is another bedroom here with a wall closet. This one's kind of tucked in nice. I like that these rooms, you have some separation from each other as well. Bathroom number two, you have the tub shower combo. And as always, you have the primary bedroom in the front of the home, well, the back of the home, let's call it overlooking the backyard. It's typically where they put it. Walk-in shower, dual undermount sinks, water closet, walk-in closet. There's your dual undermount sinks we were talking about. Quartz countertops are standard. Nice open living area. 
Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these models and the Bobby Burke decor, and I'll see you next week. Bye.